Welcome to the Sunmark 360. So how can you get the best deal at the grocery store every single time? We're going to share some secrets. The Albany Empire Arena football team kicked off their first two games of the seasons with wins. And Sunmark wants to share the excitement of seeing the Empire in action with you. But first, do you want to protect your personal information? If you do, mark May 18th on your calendar. We're going to tell you why next. From the Sunmark Federal Credit Union Content Studio, this is the Sunmark 360 with Glenn Stacy. It's great to see you this week. I'm Glenn Stacy. Welcome to the Sunmark 360. From your finances and family to optimizing your health and lifestyle, look to the Sunmark 360 for useful tips and tools to help you come full circle and manage it all. Some of the easiest targets for identity thieves are home trash bins. When you put a piece of paper in the trash, it can be difficult to know exactly what happens to it, and it's likely that your trash passes through several stages on its way to the landfill. And every step that occurs once the trash leaves your control has risk that someone will find personal information that they can use to cause you harm, things we never think about. One way to safeguard your personal information is to shred it before it goes into the trash. So you can join Sunmark Saturday, May 18th from 11 until 1 p.m. for our doc document shredding day at our Latham branch located at 1187 Choice Connectedy Road. Now this is a great opportunity to safely destroy any personal information such as old files and financial records at no cost to you. For tips to help you organize all that stuff before shred day or if you need help deciding exactly what to dispose of, we have some general guidelines on how long you should keep various types of records. You can find it all on the Sunmark 360 page at sunmarkfcu.org slash connect. Sunmark Federal Credit Union announced a new partnership with the Albany Empire of the Arena Football League during the 2019 season. Now, fresh off their playoff run and 8 and for record during their inaugural season in 2018, the Empire are looking to deliver an Arena Bowl championship right here to the Capital Region. Now, with this partnership, Sunmark will be a game presenting sponsor for the team's June 22nd game at the Times Union Center. Sports bring people and communities together. That's why we're excited about this partnership. We look forward to the competition on the field, but we also look forward to showcasing Sunmark and how our credit union can help all Empire fans manage and do more with their money. Sunmark plans to execute a variety of free ticket giveaways and a VIP experience leading up to the game, so everyone in the Capital Region will have the opportunity to experience the excitement of the AFL. Now, details of these contests are going to be announced on Sunmark social media platforms, so that's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, also on YouTube, or you can watch our website, sunmarkfcu.org. For tickets, you can contact the Albany Empire at 518-533-2200 or visit thealbanyempire.com. If you're like most people, the biggest check you write each month is for your mortgage or rent. However, the amount you spend at the grocery store just might be a close second. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, the average American spends $4,363 on food eaten at home every year, which is roughly about 6% of the average person's pre-tax income. Now, you don't have to change your diet to a diet of ramen noodles to protect your budget. You just need to learn how to be a smart shopper by completely avoiding common grocery store mistakes. Here are a few. Number one, seek out manager markdowns. When buying food, especially meat, always be on the lookout for manager markdowns. Now, manager markdowns offer savings of up to 50% on meat, poultry, and fish nearing its expiration date. So plan your meal around these manager markdowns, then cook what you want to eat right away and freeze the rest for later. Meat can be very well the priciest part of your grocery store purchase, so if you buy during a 50% markdown, you can easily save money every single month. Always buy generic. Seriously, if you want to save big, go generic. There's a big window for savings. Canned goods, dried pasta, cereal, baking stations, like flour and sugar, and even spices are a good example of generic store brands that are just as good as name brands. Now, just about every big box store has its own brand, which is usually half the cost. This strategy could save you 30 to 50 percent on your grocery bill. You also want to figure out your store's sales cycle. Stores typically run all sales on a cycle. You should create a way to follow these sales. It could be as simple as tracking prices of things you buy often in a price book. This will allow you to stock up on those staples to carry you from sale to sale. Now, tracking sales cycles can help you when you're trying to get by and you're living paycheck to paycheck. You also need to know when to buy certain items and timing is everything. Wednesdays could be the best day to shop for food because this is when most supermarkets release their new circulars. If you'd like to see more ways to get the best prices and the best deals at the grocery store every time, visit the Sunmark 360 page at sunmarkfcu.org connect. 
Did you know that Sunmark participates in the co-op ATM network? This partnership allows anyone that banks with Sunmark to have access to nearly 30,000 ATMs and 5,000 plus shared branches across the country. This means you have more direct surcharge free access to your money than most traditional bank customers do. You simply walk into any one of these locations, let them know your account number, and you can do most of your banking just like you would at any Sunmark location. To learn more and to see all of our locations across the country, visit sunmarkfcu.org slash bank. So Mother's Day is coming up Sunday, and it looks like you're going to be buying mom a lot. How do we know? Mother's Day spending is expected to break a record. $25 billion this year, up from $23 billion last year, according to an annual survey released by the National Retail Federation. 84% of U.S. adults are expected to celebrate in honor of their mothers and other women in their lives. So what are you buying for Mother's Day in 2019? Here are the top five with the percentage of planned gift purchases and the average spending per person. Number one, 75% are going to be buying greeting cards with an average spending of $6.64. 67% will be purchasing flowers for a value of $20.31. 55% will go on a special outing with mom at a cost of $36.41. 45% will give a gift card or gift certificate to mom with a value of $20.65. And 38% will purchase clothing or other clothing accessories with a value of $18.07. If you're a mom watching the Sunmark 360, I don't know, but we noticed that mom upside down is wow. All you do is impressive and we hope you realize how appreciated you really are and you enjoy your special day. Whether you're watching at home or in the office, thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with the Sunmark 360. For more, find our Sunmark 360 page at sunmarkfcu.org slash connect. Follow Sunmark on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And connect to the Sunmark 360 at sunmark360 at sunmarkfcu.org. We hope you have a great week and we will see you next Wednesday right here on the Sunmark 360. Don't forget to follow Sunmark and the Sunmark 360 on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.